Hi, I'm uh, Sean Fisher. Uh, this is my van. It's a 1994 Ford Econoline conversion. Uh, I got it about two years ago. Uh, had really low miles and no rust, that's why I bought it. And uh, it doesn't have much inside, like it doesn't have a bathroom or a toilet. It doesn't have a sink, uh, kitchen, nothing like that. It just has a bed, very bare bones, basic. But that's kind of the way I like it. I, really, I was looking at vans online and to get one with a bathroom and a sink, it was like $2,000 more. And so I thought, screw it. I'll just pee outside, find ba bathrooms. I have like a, a water jug here I use for my sink. It's just minimalism. Well, really what inspired me to jump into this lifestyle was I'm playing music all the time, traveling, and uh, there's no cheaper way to live than out of a van. And uh, playing music, you don't make a ton of money, but you get to see the world, you get to meet new people, you get to play music for tons of people, and you get to continue doing it. It's just beautiful. When I first got it, actually, uh, I was traveling with a friend, and it was, it was good for traveling with a friend, but I found it was a little uh, cramped for space because we both had all our stuff in here. And he brought a lot of stuff, I brought a lot of stuff. I, I think I brought three guitars the first time I went out. And I now I only have one, so that's why I don't have anyone with me right now, just because it's hard to live in it when there's two people. You can travel out of it, but you can't live in it. There's a, I find there's like a fine line between the two. I haven't really done much to the van, but uh, so here you see I have my, uh, my deodorant, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, my brush, because things I use every morning and at night, so it's just right by the door. Got my water jug, I got a 10 gallon water and four gallon here. I've got my guitar down here, store it under the bed. I've got like a backpack here for doing like hiking trips. And I've got all my food is just kind of in that corner over there. Got like a backpack, all my clothes, rain gear. Uh, my cook gear is in there as well. I just have like a little one burner cook system. It's just super minimal because I didn't want, I used to have a two big two burner stove, but it was just too big and I just wanted to completely minimize my life. I have a, a battery there I can plug into the, the engine of the car and essentially I can plug my phone, my computer, really any of my, my gear off that. Uh, I got a little cooler up there behind the bike, kind of hard to see. Yeah, so I can plug it into the 12 volt. Um, it doesn't work that well. I usually just put ice in it and keep it for a few days. Uh, this is my bed back here, the main attraction of the <laughs> of the van. Just standard. Uh, it's actually, it folds up into the seats, but I haven't folded it up in at least eight months. Since, oh, since I've been living in the van. There was two seats here, actually, too. Uh, I took those out just because space. My friend actually had an extra tapestry and I just tucked it into the sides. I didn't do anything like it was <laughs> super easy to do and it hasn't come out once so that's perfect. I have little blinds too for the uh, for the sides. I just kind of hang stuff up on these little pieces of wood here. It seems to work. Have you ever run into any problems uh, just finding a spot to sleep? Yeah, I mean, when you run into problems, that's the nights you stay at Walmarts. <laughs> Any night where you don't know where you are, you end up at a Walmart. I mean, it's never fun. I think I've only stayed at, I've lived in the van for seven or eight months now, and I think I've stayed at three or four Walmarts. There's always, like, we live in Canada. It's a beautiful country. There's always space for everyone. So that's what I like. Got storage all up here. Uh, it's not much in that one right now. This one's got, like, a, a tarp and a hammock set. So I could set up a hammock. This one's got some rope, some other stuff in here. Uh, that one's got some rope, first aid kit. Mostly just rope. <laughs> Never have enough rope. I've been in my van since the start of June of this year. Like I, the winter I took off kind of because it was too cold. But I think I've spent in total maybe two or $3,000 in four or five months. So I very economical like you there's no way you can see all of canada coast to coast for two thousand dollars right part of me wanted to sell my van for a bit and just go like completely minimal like just have a backpack and my guitar but i mean i just i just don't know how well the guitar would travel when i'm with a backpack say torrential downpours or something i don't want to ruin my guitar like i i take pride in my instruments right if it gets ruined that's 
really defeating the point of living cheaply and minimally. So one of the main downsides to van life is this thing is not easy to drive in the cities and I'm not a, I'm not a great driver like I, a lot of the days I just ride my bike in the city I'll park I mean a lot of the times there's two hour parking max you have to pay for parking so I'll just park outside the city and bike in I don't mind a 20k 10k bike it's nothing like what was the initial thing that kind of sparked the idea for van life well really I, th I would say I wanted to travel and I didn't I didn't know how I wanted to do it, but I wanted to play music and travel. And then, I mean, you see all these people on YouTube living the van life, and you just see it, and you're like, that'd be cool, right? And when I was a young kid, I always talked about getting a van and going down to Mexico when I was like eight years old or something, right? So I guess it was kind of always instilled in me just to have like a rambling kind of lifestyle. It is amazing, and the best times of my life have been in this van. Like, I would not trade it for a house right now. I mean, I'd love to have a shower and have Wi-Fi and have the amenities of a house, but I wouldn't trade it for the freedom that I have. I don't know how long van life will last for me. Um, I'd like to try to set some roots here on Vancouver Island. It's just so beautiful. It's the only place in Canada I've been and didn't want to leave and go somewhere else. So, I mean, that's definitely a factor. But I, like I was saying to you earlier, uh, I'd love to have a sailboat and just like park it in the harbor in Vic and just busk there every day because Vic is the best city for busking in Canada like maybe the only cities that rival it are Quebec City and St. John's. A lot of people do minimalize themselves when they move into the van and a lot of people do want to become minimalist so they move into the van. I found for me it was kind of both at once. I wanted to be minimalist but I just didn't I was never forced to be minimalist like I, at home I'd like in my room I would try to have everything set and very basic but once I moved into the van, especially when I was living with friends in my van, um, I learned you need one of everything. You can't have two. Clothes, keep it to a minimum. I used to have three guitars in my van, now I have just the one. Um, I really just kind of took everything I had in here and cut it in half. <laughs> no matter what, the first time you go out, you're gonna bring too many things. You're gonna bring things you don't need. You're gonna bring things you never use. Like, there's so many things in here. I had a solar panel here. Um, a couple weeks ago, but I sold it because I just never used it. I was always, I could plug my battery into the van, so I thought I may as well get 40 bucks for my solar panel and just sat there all the time. I didn't use it once in three months, so I had to get rid of it. I plan on, yeah, doing a little bit more work to the van. I really want to um, do like the interior again, like redo the interior, do a paint job on the outside, new suspension, and then just travel more and explore more and just see what else is out there right i mean i was doing the van thing out like on nova scotia and uh like, i have this app basically it shows you campsites it's called uh i overlander it's got quite a few campsites and you can use it without uh wi-fi being on which that's why i really like that one and so i was in nova scotia and i would just go to these spots and they were kind of like right across the street from people's houses but right on the ocean and people would just come out oh hey how you doing oh you camped for the night and I'm like, yeah, I can't have it for the night. And they're like, okay, have to sleep well. And it's like, where else does that happen, right? Just where else? Makes you feel good. Makes you feel safe too, right? Where can people find your music if they want to hear what you... That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> on the streets? <laughs> on the streets. The best place to hear me is on the streets. Come to Victoria and walk down Government Street, you'll probably hear me. Um, no, but that being said, check out my Instagram, uh, Freewheel and Fish. Uh, that's probably the best place to get links to my music and stuff. Uh, right now I'm still in the process of putting together an album. I would recommend this to anyone who is an artist or wants to travel. Like if I, if I was a visual artist or something, I could sell my paintings on the street or something like that. Like anyone who can make an income anywhere they are. People who go to a job and have that routine lifestyle, it's not going to work for you. I mean, you could do that and figure it out, but it's better when there's something new and exciting to see every day. The way I make money when I'm traveling is by playing my guitar and singing on the streets. Um, you don't make great money, but I live very minimally and I don't need much to get by.